blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak, Lord. May they be your words, not my words, not my words, Lord. And thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, for giving me a work to do, for making me a watchman and giving me dreams and visions. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. And I give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. I am. I am just the dust of the earth. And no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven. And I am God's dirt. I title this video, The Dead Cry Out Warning to the Living. There are about 300,000 trained, highly motivated terrorists in America right now thanks to our open border policy that we have here in America and there are millions I mean millions of sympathizers followers and hanger-ons that are willing participants in a jihad against America and these are all in America right now now I have been praying hard for Israel the last several days and then the Holy Spirit came to me and told me that what happened in Israel is only a taste of what is coming to America. The economy is on the edge, on the absolute edge of a total economic collapse. And when that does happen, these terrorists will spring into action and there will be almost no one to stop them. And just like in Israel, they will go door to door, house to house, into hospitals, offices, shopping centers, and they will slaughter everyone. The elderly, women, children, even babies. They, they will take no prisoners. I'm going to read Jeremiah 50, 31. Behold, I am against thee, O thou, thou most proud, saith the Lord God of hosts, for thy day is come, thy time, the time that I will visit thee. God's judgment is upon America, and there will be no escape. Only, only those washed in the blood and born again will be saved, will be raptured out of here before that terrible day of the Lord. I want to read Jeremiah 51, 7, 8, and 9. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and, and destroyed. Howl for her, take balm for her pain. If so, be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her, and let us go, every one into our, his own country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven, and is lifted up even to the skies. So now, do you see how the nations have gone mad, and how people do unspeakable things today so many so many nations have gone mad Jeremiah 51 and 18 they are vanity the work of heirs in the time of their visitation they shall perish do not our leaders work in much error today it seems today every decision is an error against the people even against law and order and justice even against the very people they have sworn to defend and uphold. In the time of their visitation, they shall perish. And that visitation is coming and coming soon. Jeremiah 50, 30. I'm sorry, Jeremiah 51 and 30. The mighty men of Babylon have forborn, forborn to fight. They have remained in their holes. Their might hath failed. They have become as women. They have burned their dwelling places. Her bars are broken. The might of America has been erased. Her weapons lie idle, and her men refuse to fight. It's interesting that uh, they become as women. Now our military is actively recruiting transgender. Could this be a reference to that? It seems highly coincidental, don't you think? And I am reminded there are no coincidences when it comes to God. Jeremiah 51, verse 40. I will bring them down like lambs to the slaughter, like rams with the he-goats. What came to Israel was slaughter. 
was it not? What will come to America will eclipse what took place in Israel by many magnitudes. And that slaughter is coming. Jeremiah 51 verse 42. The sea is come upon Babylon. She is covered with the multitude of the waves thereof. Earthquakes, tsunamis are coming. Coming to America. I have seen this many times. And many other watchmen, including David Wilkerson, they've all seen this as well. Here's that warning in scripture. So that as well will come to pass also. Jeremiah 51 verse 46 And least your heart faint and ye fear for ye, the rumor that shall be heard in the land. A rumor shall both come in one year and after that in another year shall rum come a rumor and violence in the land ruler against ruler. Is not our nation ruler against ruler right now? You have the Democrats at war with the Republicans but neither of them can, uh, can save us. And there is much violence in the land right now already. Is there not? Jeremiah 51, 62. Then shalt thou say, O Lord, thou hast spoken <clears throat> against this place to cut it off, that none shall remain in it, neither man nor beast, but it, sh it shall be, a de be desolate forever. No man will be left in America, but it will be desolate forever. When God speaks, his words never return to him void. What God speaks always comes about. America is Babylon. What other nation has been a golden cup in God's hand? And what other nation sets on many waters? You have the Atlantic, the Pacific, the Gulf of Mexico, and the Great Lakes. America sets on many waters. America is Babylon, and America will be destroyed in one hour. Just like the scripture says. But there is, there is safety and salvation from all this death and destruction, but only, only through Jesus Christ. Humble yourself, admit that you are a sinner in need of a Savior, repent of your sin, and believe that Jesus is the Son of God, who died on an old wooden cross, was buried, and who rose from the grave on the third day, and walked this earth again, who ascended up to heaven inside of men, and who now sits on the right hand of the Father, awaiting his glorious and triumphant return. Now, you need to pray also to place all your sin under the blood of Jesus and pray that Jesus enter your, heart, enter your heart and give you a new heart and be with you all the days that you have left on this earth. And these are, these are the last days. Time is short. The rapture could come at any moment, at any moment, and we're out of here in the twinkling of an eye. And we pray, we pray that we see you in the clouds on that day. The Azusa Street Mission and Revival website is www.azusast.com, and we welcome you to join us. And we are offering free advanced medical alert badges, as now is the time to get your AMD badges to speak for you. Uh, in case you can't speak for yourself in a clinic or a hospital or, or a doctor's office. And we also offer free uh, car window decals that say azuzastreet.com mission and revival. And you can find pictures of these uh, on the website or at the end of uh, this video. Also, the Azusa Street prayer line is open Monday, Wednesday, and Friday starting at 8 p.m. until 9 p.m. or the last caller. And that number is 518 318 7813. And I want to remind you that only, only if the Holy Spirit puts it in your heart to support this ministry, then all we ask is that you be faithful to the Holy Spirit and that you be the miracle. This is the miracle for God's ministry. And remember, small things, small beginnings, turn into very big things through God. Look what came out of a manger out of Bethlehem. God bless you and yours mightily. We keep every one of you in our prayers. Every one of you have been a, an absolute blessing to, to us. And we thank God. We thank God every single day for sending you to us. And we keep every one of you in our prayers. God bless you. And God keep you and yours in his loving arms just like he held me.
just like you. And I do. I do all that I do. Because Jesus held me in his arms. And I looked into the eyes of God. And all I saw was love. Unimaginable. Unex unexplainable love. Uh, uncomprehendable love. A peace, a joy, a love that just... That there's no description, no words that that can just can describe it, and I do all that I can uh, that I do to get back into those loving arms again, back where I belong, and back where you belong as well. So, with much love and more grace from above, Amen.